On Wednesday, February 22nd, Patriot Technology Center held their first annual cybersecurity competition at the Greenbelt Marriott Hotel in Prince George's County, Maryland. Eight teams consisting of middle school students accompanied by a mentor were tasked to review a cybersecurity career and develop promotional materials to be reviewed by a panel of esteemed judges. At the event, attendees had the opportunity to hear a welcome speech from Karen Tolles, council member of Prince George's County, Maryland, District 7. Um, where we may say to give our children a round of applause for their hard work, commitment, and dedication, and involvement, and the willingness to learn as much as they can about technology and, and this industry and how it can have an impact on the livelihoods. Let's give our children another round of applause. Attendees also heard from the honorary chairperson Renee N. Levine, the president and CEO of Iron Bow Technologies. Yes, but uh, cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing segments in the technology industry today. It's not surprising when you think about how integral computers are, <coughs> the internet have become a, a constant way of life for us. From personal communications and e-commerce to critical systems like the power grid and our military defense. Unfortunately, cyber criminals maliciously and persistently aim to compromise these computer systems for economic gain or military advantage. In fact, experts agree that wars of the future are going to be fought through cyberspace and not through battlefield. At the app, we'll talk a lot more about that in the keynote. The evening ended with a keynote speech from Rear Admiral Gretchen S. Herbert. Commander of Navy Cyber Forces. You can't always predict where the next cybersecurity uh, event will come from, and that's why we need to be ready uh, each and every day to be able to fight through a degraded or de a denied network. She discussed the importance of cybersecurity. But most have no idea what a botnet is, or a computer virus, or a denial of service attack. They don't realize how vulnerable they or their data might be when they click on a link or open up an attachment. I recently read that there's over 70,000 new cyber threats, cybersecurity threats discovered every day. Think about that, 70,000. I think uh, about what that really means um, to us in a practical sense. So this year, some companies are going to go out of business because of cybersecurity attacks or cybersecurity or cyber exploitation. Some of our state secrets will be stolen. A mysterious charge will show up on your mom's and dad's credit card and then from cyber, not from one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Intellectual property or someone's personal invention will be stolen and then developed and sold uh, by someone else who had no, uh, no uh, part of designing that. A power station will stop operating and the lights will go out in the city. Or a, uh, um, a train will come to a screeching halt. Or power plants will start to stop uh, generating power. Or, uh, or dams will not uh, uh, be able to provide the, uh, the uh, uh, support that, uh, that we need. So our critical infrastructure is now no longer set. Um, you've all been uh, a great inspiration for me. I don't get to do this enough to come out and see our uh, young men and women and see what they're doing. When I do, I feel very, very gratified, and I know that this country is in phenomenal hands uh, because if, uh, if I had the energy and the foresight and imagination that you all have demonstrated when I was your age, uh, who knows what I would have been at this point. Now, you know, not just a lowly 50-year-old you know, battle. So anyway, uh, for those that I just wanted to ask you all, please keep imagining, keep learning, Keep inventing, keep dreaming, because whatever you dream, you can achieve. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the winning teams. For more information on Patriots Technologies and other events, please go to Patriots 
www.ttc.org. Thank you.